Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Coach Kimmy and I am a salon owner, hairstylist, strategic life coach, and an author. You can find my books and courses in the description below or you could get it on my website, coach-kimmy.com and that's with a Y. So I'm excited for you to be on this channel. Let's get started. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to cut this with my fingers here. Okay. I cut his hair with this whole thinning shears because his hair is pokey, pokey, pokey. We need texture in this hair so it just does whatever we want it to do. This is the scissor to cut it with. I love thinking it's like a ladder. I think of your head on the top, like in my in your mohawk section, like a ladder. And you just get the next piece, next piece, and then you keep going. And then all of a sudden, it just comes out this beautiful, nice, textured hair. Right, because when you go get it, cut some rough, it doesn't really work that good, right? They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't thin it out. That's the biggest problem. Which is thick, pokey hair. Your hair is definitely pokey. It just softens all that hair. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to take this. I take this and I just kind of keep. I'm using my thumb only, thumb only. Now, if you wanted to cheat, and then you could take this scissor, right, and you get some of the extra bulk off. So I'm just gonna get that off, and then I'll go in there and then cut it with the scissor. So then I don't have to do as much. 
I'll be in here, but I will go on with this video after. Keep going up with the ladder. Okay, how long have I been cutting your hair? Good question, I think. At least 15 years, possibly yeah. more. Yeah, possibly more, right? I mean, yeah. Probably, yeah, it should be closer to 18 or 20. Yeah. Okay, a long time. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it looks so much better. I don't have my glasses on, so I can't oh. see them here. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Oh, so Looks good, feels good, and you can put that little bit of gel in there and you're good to go. You don't need to put gel in there, right? I do like a lot. You only need it. Yeah, I really like it. You need like that, like that good leave aid. Maybe it's just a powder. Oh my gosh, it's a really soft. Oh, really? Thing. Yeah. I usually use the uh, okay. got to be glue. Got to be glue. Well, that's. What do you think? About that? you, listen, that's when you want it, like, yeah. Because okay, this is soft. Yeah, so you know, I don't need that. Like the other one is like really when you want to, you know, um, hold it, hold it. Yeah. Like when it's just in the beginning, I, I don't need that. It's, 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 it's so perfect. Hey guys, Coach Kimmy here. So let's get real. Let's talk about real life. Emotions, right? Emotions can just run us like a roller coaster. Like King Deca, El Toro. El Toro goes all over the place. In, out, up, down, left, right, around, all over. Lightning loops flips you over. And then Rolling Thunder takes you way up and way down. And that's what emotions feel like, right? So I've learned that we have a subconscious and a conscious mind. Subconscious runs us 95%. The conscious mind is what we have to get into to change and shift that emotional state of the subconscious mind. This one wants to run us and rule us. And listen, this subconscious mind is like an old laptop. Like, so whatever age you are, think of an old laptop from the day you were born till right now. All that old obsolete data that doesn't even matter anymore. And I always love to say this, that was then, this is now. We have to live in the present. We have to live right now. We can't keep going back, going back, going back. Because when we keep going back, going back, going back and keep blaming other people for our, our emotional states, we keep not wanting to take full responsibility for who we are and what we've created in our life. And I'm gonna tell you that we create our own outcome. I know that's a hard thing to hear and I remember the first time I heard it, I thought, what? No, I didn't, but you know what? It's really true. I really did. I created my whole outcome because my autopilot of all that old 
obsolete data was running me unconsciously without me knowing it. So once I realized it and got in the conscious mind, I thought, oh no, I have to shift and I had to rewire new programs into my mind that I can overcome any, I want to say, pain, trauma, hurt, and all the things that were stuck in here that weren't serving me. They didn't bless me. They didn't help me. They just kept me in bondage. You know, do you ever feel like you're stuck in a prison or you're lost? You're like a little girl lost and you don't know what to do and you feel so alone? It's that all old autopilot that's telling you lies that are not true. And I love the song by Zach Williams. Fear is a liar, right? Fear is a liar. I like to say face everything and rise, right? But fear, false evidence appearing real. We live in this fight or flight life and world because we're almost addicted to negativity. So when we keep going in this bad mindset because we just keep looking at all the negative things that we don't have or all the negative things that are happening. So for instance, I, was, I needed to get something in a cabinet and I had my tea, boiling hot tea that was on the counter and I, I was trying really hard to reach it and I couldn't quite reach it so something came flying down, like the glass shattered all over the place, the tea went flying all over, burnt my foot and like my first reaction is like, I wanna just be negative and be like, oh, you know? And I just thought, okay, ouch. That hurt, and okay, I gotta clean it up, and that's okay, you know what, My because I was at my daughter's house, I was like, no problem, I'm gonna mop the floor. I mopped the whole entire floor because that tea spilled all over the place, so I had to clean that up, so I might as well mop, so I thought something good came out of it. Right, you need to make lemonade with lemons that we get in life, because life happens. And I love John Maxwell's quote, and it says, good management of bad experiences leads to great growth. Good management of bad experiences leads to great growth. Listen, we all get bad experiences at times. It doesn't matter who you are. Nobody lives in a perfect world and nobody's perfect. So we all have different circumstances and situations that happen. It's how we deal with those circumstances and situations that create our outcome. If we wanna be healthy, happy, whole, fit, and complete, and we really lack nothing, but we think we lack so many things, Listen, that's the point. We really don't, but we think we do. So I've learned that through tragic beginnings, I wrote a book, Tragic Beginnings to Fairytale Endings. I realized that my tragic beginnings didn't have to dictate my future success, but it did for a long time because I lived in a victim state of mind because I was conditioned to feeling comfortable with unhealthy. Does that make sense? Right? Sometimes it's just like an elephant, right? That gets trained as a little baby and it like has a thick rope around its neck first. And then as, and, and if it tries to get off that rope, it gets beat, right? So it's learned not to. So as it gets older and older, the string gets less and less and less because it's just a little tug. It's just like a horse with a bit in its mouth. Just a little tug, it knows where to go, what to move. It's so conditioned to being trained the way it's trained that that's why a big elephant could be in a circus with a little tiny string around his neck tied to a stake and he has the power to pull that thing out and go crazy, but guess what, he doesn't. Because he is conditioned. And this is the other thing, when we have so much chaos and confusion and too many things going on inside the mind, we almost get paralyzed. You know why? Think of a lion with a lion tamer, right? The lion tamer comes in with a lion with a chair and a whip. Now, why do you think that he does that? He does it for a great purpose. He holds that chair and that lion tries to focus on all four legs of that chair and he gets paralyzed, he gets dazed and confused so he doesn't do anything because he can't, right? It's almost like when you're paralyzed, you can't do anything. Well, that's what happens to us when we're so overloaded with so many different emotions. We need to like be still. We need to learn self-love and self-care, right? I think my greatest advice to anybody is learning to love yourself well, which it took me years. I mean, you would think it was such an easy task but it literally took me years to do and now that I feel like I love myself well I knew all along that God loved me I knew all along that God created me and made me wonderfully and marvelously made but I sure didn't feel it that was for sure I had to learn to feel worth and value and to appreciate and love who I am
And I did, and it takes some time, but I just want you to know, I'm Coach Kimmy, I'm a strategic life coach, and I would love to help you if you struggle with emotions that just run you and rule you like a roller coaster, right? They could be like El Toro, it goes straight up and then straight down and straight up and straight down, or like El Toro and it goes around and upside down and in and out and it's like just crazy and chaos. Or like uh, lightning loops just keep spinning you around these emotions, you just keep finding yourself back in the same spot over and over and over again. Well, I definitely, I created a course, it's an eight week course, it's called a, a complete emotional breakthrough. I mean, we needed a breakthrough, right? I know I needed a breakthrough. Human beings need an emotional breakthrough so that they stop allowing the roller coasters of emotions to actually live inside. I love the song Frozen, right? My granddaughter, I've been listening to a lot with my granddaughter, let it go, let it go. And she's like, I'm gonna stand firm and stand in my power, right? Like we have to learn who we are and stand in our power and learn that we're important, that we're valuable and that we matter. And I love, she says, there's a swirling storm inside, right? Sometimes it feels like this swirling storm inside of us that we don't know how to deal with it. We don't know how to get rid of it. And it's so painful sometimes because emotions are that powerful. So I just want you to know, Coach Kimmy, you can email me at success at coach-kimmy.com. I would love to hear from you if you need help in any way, shape or form. It's so important just to have support, to have love, to know you're not by yourself, you're not alone. Sometimes we feel so alone because maybe we haven't found our tribe or like people that understand us, but you'd be so surprised that that's not true. There's millions of people out there that have went through the same circumstances and situations similar to what you've been through. You know, like I thought like my tragic beginnings were like, Nobody understood who I was, and that wasn't true. It was my own belief system. Remember, the subconscious mind can run and rule us, but it doesn't have to if we don't let it. And that's the science, that's the magic, that's the pure magic that you need. And miracle after miracle that can come to you because we shift the subconscious mind because we have made new programs from the conscious mind that when this starts running with better programming, our life changes happiness, joy, peace that surpasses all understanding will come to you. So this is Coach Kimmy. I look forward to meeting you, supporting you, and being there for you and walking with you every step of the way. Have a great day. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, and share this video.